What is up everybody? Welcome back to our crash course on aspect ratio. Today we're talking about a very special aspect ratio, one that we love uh, very much, and that is 4-3, full screen, the, the best aspect ratio, if you ask us. So Jordan, why don't you take us in a little bit, give us some background knowledge on what this is all about. Yeah, if you watched our very first video on aspect ratio, we gave a little bit of the history, but essentially this is known as the Academy aspect ratio, the standard, because this is what all the movies were pretty much shot in. It was the standard for a really long time. And then when TVs came out, TVs were shaped in this size. Um, and then after that, theaters started making wider screens. Movies started shooting their movies wider to compete with TV. And it was just a big mess of, this, of who's better, TV or movies or whatever. But that doesn't really matter because now 4-3 is just an aspect ratio that you can choose to use if you want. What does this do? What does 4x3 do for our image? Yeah, uh, one of the things that I personally love using aspect ratio for is the fact that you're, um, I mean, you're just straight up chopping off the sides of your image. If you're thinking about things in a 16 by nine or any widescreen context, if you put a person center focus, um, there's a lot of room that they're gonna be not taking up. Um, so having this more narrow aspect ratio kind of puts your, your focus on whatever you're framing. So if you have a person in the middle of the shot, they're not gonna be competing with the landscape around them, not gonna be competing with um, city or whatever, you know, wherever your location is, that's not gonna be the focus, it's gonna be them. And it's gonna make them seem a bit more important in your shot, less um, just taken over by what's going on around them. So that's one of my favorite reasons to use 4.3. So for what we like to use it for, what we've done is, because as we've said before, we don't have all the money to like really decorate our background in our movies. We don't have a lot of movie to kind of make the frame really perfect and beautiful. But when we cut off that edges, you just focus on the person and what's immediately behind them. And that's a really cool thing to do. And you can also get you really cool close-ups because you can get really close. Um, you can see the full face or you can see like shoulders up really well. And that fills out the frame really nicely. Um, and it just feels a lot more intimate than um, than the normal widescreen. Widescreen sometimes it can feel a little bit removed, but with four by three, it you almost always feels very. You feel connected to that character that you see on screen. Yeah. It also has a um, cool effect because it can remind you of like Saturday morning cartoons, or it could remind you of old movies. So if you use it, um, last time we talked about how you can use. Um, 235 or 239 to make your movie feel like a movie well you can use 43 to make your movie feel like an old movie if that makes sense if that's mm -hmm. the look you're going for yeah so we're gonna talk about just some movies that we love that use that aspect ratio um, I'll start us off with an older movie um, that we still very much recommend it's called seven samurai if you haven't heard of a it, little little, <laughs> little little independent movie. a little piece a little thing you might you might know of uh, Akira Kurosawa he's a uh, our boy George Lucas is a big fan of him. Um, so yeah, Seven Samurai. That uh, I mean, Kira Kurosawa, he's a master of so many things. Um, and he uses 4x3 for Seven Samurai as his aspect ratio. And um, I just, I mean, honestly, what I love about it, again, you get a lot of layers. He, he definitely shoots... He generally shoots wider um, in his movies, and you get to see these layers of, you know, you get to see the ground, you get to see your characters, you get to see the town that you're in, um, and you get to see, like, the mountains way off in the distance. You definitely get to feel like you're there in the space with these with these people. Um, I think that's, like, the thing that I think of most when I think of Seven Samurai, and the, the aspect ratio kind of helps inform. Um, there's so many other things I want to break down in Cure Course. I just yeah. aren't related to this. I'm going to move on. And my pick for 4x3 is this movie movie called Son of Saul. Um, it's this really kind of depressing, dark drama, Holocaust drama about this guy who's stuck in this concentration camp. And what I love about 4-3 is because the camera really lingers on either the front of his face or the back of his head. The cam camera pretty much stays there for the entire movie. And when it's 4-3, you're really tight on him, even though you can feel and you can hear all these things going on around him, all these horrors that are going on. Um, you're stuck on his face and the there you don't have any room outside of his head really to see anything so it feels really claustrophobic um and it's a it has this really cool effect on you where you're kind of you feel the claustrophobia that this character feels stuck in this crowded you know concentration camp mm -hmm. and it's a really effective really powerful movie that you guys should just check out um also give a shout out have a shout out to give for so some of you might not the little, little little mini history in this in this thing. So some of you might remember DVDs full screen and widescreen. 
widescreen was exactly what it sounds like, the widescreen image, the movie how the filmmaker usually intended. Oh, and then there was full screen. Full screen, what they did, the reason there was a full screen DVD, would they would cut the sides off of a widescreen image to fit it on a television because televisions were shaped in the 4-3 size. So it was done, it, they did this so it would fill up the whole screen because otherwise people would complain about the top black bars on the top or bottom. Every now and then, there was a movie like the Spider-Man, Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy where the full screen of the edition, the scope full screen edition of these movies were not cropped. The full screen edition of these movies was the IMAX, full IMAX frame. Um, because when you shoot a film, you don't actually shoot widescreen. You, it's compressed and they mess with the image. So essentially what they did was they shot Spider-Man 1 through 3 in a square image, knowing they would crop out the top and bottom. And when they showed it in IMAX, they just, they removed that crop. So it was the full 4x3 image. So the full screen DVD of Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 is the full widescreen, or I mean, is the full open mat frame of the movie. And it's really, really cool. I definitely recommend checking it out because you can see the difference um, that 4x3 and widescreen have on an image. And it's really cool to see that in a blockbuster because there's not a whole lot of blockbusters that are 4x3 these days. Um, Shout out Zack Snyder's Justice League. <laughs> Just, yes, Justice League is going to be released 4x3, which we're looking forward to. Um, but yeah, check out um, Spider the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy full screen edition. That's very very specific. Um, that's and there's a few other movies that did that. I, the Amer the first American Pie was the open mat. And gee, I don't know enough to research to know which ones are which, but look into full screen versions of movies, and it can give you like a cool idea of the effect that it has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again. Thank you guys for watching these videos. It's we love geeking out on this kind of stuff. It's very we know it's very niche and all technical. All twenty of but you, all twenty of you, all twenty of you are the true MVP. Leave a comment yeah. down below. Tell us instead of your favorite aspect ratio, tell us your favorite movies that use four by three or favorite TV shows or whatever. Like what, or do you have any you know memories? Yeah, come. I I mean, if any of you grew up in like the the net late nineties to like the two thousand, there are tons of shows you probably can think of that have that kind of that look. So let us know your favorites down below. We'd love to hear about it and talk about four three with you guys. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much again for watching hit the bell hit the subscribe hit the like or the dislike if that's your speed but yeah thank you all for watching we'll see you in the next one